season four is rapidly approaching with 25 days remaining in season three and it is expected to launch on the year one anniversary of Apex Legends, which came out February 4th, 2019. Now, we're rapidly approaching 15,000 subscribers, and if you want to be part of the notification gang, then smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, as I said, we're gonna be talking about the season four trailer today and kind of like what we can infer from when that trailer launches. Now, we can obviously look at all the other trailers over the last few seasons, and we can tell that Octane was coming. We could tell that Crypto had a major uh, you know, portion in what's going on, and there's an overarching story in the background between the Legends and all sorts of other you know, stuff, non-Legends, if you will, characters and other areas. But if you want to win a Season 4 Battle Pass with 25 bonus level levels, it just so happens that I'm doing a giveaway for that exact thing. And if you want to be entered, smash down that like button in the next 5 seconds and drop a comment in the comment section below and one lucky subscriber will be chosen to win a Battle Pass with 25 bonus levels on launch. Now, we'll also be doing a whole bunch of interesting stuff, including 1,000 Apex Coin giveaways over on Twitch. So if you want to follow the Twitch channel, we're going to be going live probably right around the 23rd, 24th of this month. And uh, we'll be trying to keep a scheduled live stream over on Twitch from then on. So, you know, make sure to check that out if you're interested in getting into a giveaway with much smaller chances, a well, crowd and a much larger chances of winning, if you will. So... Obviously, with how fast we're growing here on the channel, it's much different than, you know, per se, the uh, stream, which I don't think will have more than probably 20, 30 viewers at most, if I'm lucky. Other than that, it'd probably be like five viewers or something. You know what I mean? So you have a very good chance to win a thousand Apex coins if you're there on the 24th at that live stream. So make sure you check it out. All right, guys. But we haven't gotten nearly as much in-game teasers towards season four as we did in season one two and so on leading into season three so we really have only the fighter fright and then the season two leak or teaser that actually showed off uh revenant in a banner frame and then, you know, we'll bring that up right now that you can see that, that there actually is Revenant chilling in that banner frame there. And it is expected to be the most obvious model of what Revenant is. So hopefully we will get, you know, Revenant, but it could be Rosie or Loba as we did see the motion capture going on here. And this is assumed most likely to be Rosie. Now, in the season two, going into the season, go, heading into season three, or was it heading into season? Yeah, heading into season two, we actually started to see crypto causing issues around the arena and the animals came in. So the trailer leading into season two actually showed us a lot of, you know, of information about crypto. And then leading into season three, we actually got the, you know, little backstory about crypto and his, you know, stepsister there or adopted sister, whichever it may be. Somebody answered me and I forgot already if, if she was the, a stepsister or adopted sister or you know something else in between. For whatever reason, I just can't remember his story. It's maybe because Crypto sucks and he's like my least favorite legend behind Octane. So, you know what I mean? Like, who knows there? But realistically speaking, we did get these motion capture pictures and we did get a few leaks between season two and the one leak in season three whereas we did kind of get a whole bunch of different things for crypto we had the laptop we had the animals uh you know so like in season one leading into season two we had the laptop and then we had all the destruction in season two went to watson coming and you know the whole change to king's canyon and then we just basically got the fight or fright event and the one banner showing us any type of thing. And now after the game awards, we've got almost no information from Respawn at all. It's been almost radio silent, except of course the global series, which, you know, uh, you know, 
that's the big huge esports thing going on but has nothing to do with the season so we've got apex news from respawn but we don't have any actual news about what is going to be happening in season four which leads me to believe that not only are they planning something for valentine's day but they're planning some type of anniversary surprise which i've stated before in several videos but most importantly in yesterday's video that we might potentially get two legends as a anniversary gift kind of thing to the player base now a lot of people are you know saying that that's not really likely but i do think that picking up the pace in the game is going to be the best way to bring more hype to the game and obviously crypto is most likely going to be uh featured in some way you know furthering his story in the the trailer but i do believe that the trailer is going to give us a lot of information upcoming about who our next legend is and why they're coming to the arena now if it is in fact revenant and it's not you know rosy as well then most likely we're going to see Rosie hinted at in season four going into season five however you guys have been seeing me do a lot of legend leak videos and there will be more coming as the month goes along obviously because there's quite a few to talk about but the point is we don't know which one of these legends is going to be the one that is hinted at in season four coming to season five which is when i would say the actual legend was introduced so crypto was technically introduced back in season one and is now finally making his way to the game after ruining the arena in season two and you know obviously joining the arena in season three so i do think we're going to start seeing more information coming to light about the legends and when and what they have to do uh, or you know what they are involved with in the story so i do think you guys are going to be as excited about this as i am i know obviously i'm not sitting here shrieking and screaming and throwing my hands up excited but what i do know is that we have a lot of interesting stuff to think about going into this you know new season with a lot of obviously riding on the battle pass being interesting and that type of thing so if the battle pass is terrible you know it's going to be more hype about the the legends and if the legend isn't great like crypto then it's going to be about the weaponry added to the game and if the weaponry is overpowered and nerfed the crap then you know it's going to be no fun obviously but there's a lot to be looked at and thought about coming this upcoming season and i do actually hope that uh, we get a lot more information in the trailer about the upcoming seasons you know like what is the i want to know more about the story you know what is actually going on in this story why are these people so absolutely absurdly crazy uh you know like what is going on what where is crypto's lady friend or sister you know like where is she what happened to her i feel like that's an important thing to know and it's going to tell us more about these other legends because obviously we're going to be getting some legends that are more sinister. And I'm not saying that Revenant in particular is a sinister legend with, um, you know, any type of agenda. That is what I mean more and more or less, because obviously Revenant is kind of sinister with his whole death approach and stuff like that. But what I mean is somebody with an actual uh, agenda that's more evil because you could look at caustic and say he's kind of a, a sinister character with his his de approach to death and wanting to gas and kill things and stuff like that but i mean somebody with an agenda like we want to dominate the world you know like something that would be more like the syndicate and what they're doing you know so i i do think we're going to start seeing some syndicate uh you know legends brought in that are more obviously oriented towards doing something uh with blisk and that type of thing so i th think there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff coming in season four just from the trailers and teasers that we're going to see but i do hope that the launch trailer has some interesting stuff to tell us and obviously the gameplay trailer will come out about a week later or so and give us about a week of hype before we can get into the actual season four and enjoy whatever options they've chose to bring us now i do think we may really see 
a double weapon and double legend drop but that remains to be seen guys drop a comment and let me know what you thought about this video what you think about season four and everything in between but i'm going to end the video right here with two other videos you can check out if you feel so inclined and uh yeah guys thanks for blowing the channel up thanks for subscribing thanks for like you know what just thank you in general just thank you that's all i can possibly say to you guys because i am completely overwhelmed